Hi there, Penny and Guy from Midwinter Minis here. In this video we are going to show you how to get the two rattling mercenaries painted up and game ready in no time. Before we begin, I just want to say that Ryan and Ralph are 100% named after Track 9 from Mutter by Rammstein. All the Games Workshop designers are about the same age as me, and the album was huge back in the day, so my money's on that. Back in the 1840s, when <laughs> Guy was a young man. First, you'll want to add any base elements to fit your theme and prime the models grey. Let's start the clock. The first step is to pick out the skin with your tan paint. One thin coat on the faces, hands and feet should do it. Be fast and messy and don't worry about going into other areas. Next, mix green and grey paint in equal amounts to make a slightly more drab military green and paint their fatigues. Again, be fast. The only thing you should try to avoid is the skin. To paint the bags, pouches and holsters, I mixed red and brown in a one-to-one -one mix to create a rich brown and gave them all one thin coat, at this point being slightly careful not to get any on the fatigues or skin. To paint the little bits of food in the pouch, I mixed an equal quantity of yellow and brown paint and gave them a quick coat. Guy then added a touch of white into that toasty brown colour to create a sort of blonde and used that to paint their luxurious sideburns. <laughs> we'll use our grey paint to touch up the armour plates on their chests and groins, nicely covering anywhere you were a bit sloppy before. Cover up those sloppy groins. <laughs> Cover up the sloppy groins. <laughs> <laughs> nice and easy. The next step is to give the bases their first coat of black. Be careful around their big hobbit feet, but if you make any mistakes, just touch them up again with your tan colour. This is actually a great point to fix any other little mistakes in your base coats, as we're going to be dry brushing and washing soon, so we want the paint underneath to be ready. Before we do that, quickly paint the debris elements to match your scheme. Uh, for me, that means overbrushing with grey and then with white. So in just 18 minutes, we've taken care of the base coats. It might seem crazy fast, but these guys are pretty small, and they don't need much paint. Now we're going to mix up white and tan in equal amounts, and use this mix to very lightly dry brush the entire model. There's no silver yet, because adding this dry brush to the silver would make it look like weird and dusty. And once you're happy with your dry brushing, we'll add our silver to keep its vibrancy. Paint the rifle, the grappling hook, knives and the sensor, and the assortment of tools and explosives. Oh, and the fridge. After your silver is dried, it's time for the wash stage. First, we'll use the brown wash to shade every part of each model, but avoiding any areas that we just painted silver. Now give it a few minutes so the washes don't mix, and then apply your black wash to the silver parts. You can also splash a bit around the eyes and the eye patch to add a bit of easy definition to their faces too. While you're waiting for that to dry, give the bases their second coat of black paint. So, in just over 41 minutes total, the speed paint for both models is done. Ready to hit the table all painted up. As in all the videos in this series, I'll show you a couple of ways we can bring out some more details if you want to spend more time. But before that, quick thanks to Stefan and Ray for supporting the channel since the last video. And Liz, if you're watching, your husband Nath would really love it if you bought him Blackstone Fortress. No pressure though. Let's grab our detail brush and get started. Use your blue paint to block in the optic lenses of Ryan's headgear and the screen of the sensor that Rouse is carrying. Add a little white to your blue and use this lighter blue to paint the central area of the lenses, as well as a corner of the screen on the sensor. Add even more white and use this very pale blue to add a couple of thin dots on both the lenses and the screen.
Now let's make their skin a little more vibrant. Mix tan and white in a one-to-one -one mix, thin it well, and carefully peck out the upward facing parts of the skin. Delicately pick out a few of their facial features, but try your best to avoid the recesses. Now we'll use our silver paint unthinned just to catch some of the metal areas to simulate tarnishing and wear. Once you're happy with how that looks, thin the paint slightly and pick out some of the little bolts and button details on the models too. Finally, use your black wash and your detail brush to add some panel lining. On our models, Guy reinforced the lining of the armour plates on their chest, separated similar colours like the food and the bag, the skin and the sleeves, and added a recess shade to the buttons he just picked out with the silver. And once you're done with this step, you're done with the paint job. 62 minutes in and both models are looking pretty great. By just adding a couple of nice focus details like lenses and panel lining, you can quickly make even basic paint jobs look much more photogenic. This scheme is nice and easy, and at about half an hour per model, you could use the same techniques to paint a whole squad of Imperial Guard in a single evening. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and join us in the next video in which we'll be covering the final model from the standard game. Janus Drake. Janus. <laughs> Janus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I hope you join us then. Bye for now. Bye.